The numbers are in. The Convene Salary Survey shows us how earning a designation can increase your earnings. On this edition of Convene TV, supported by Greater Fort Lauderdale. Bring your event to Greater Fort Lauderdale, where business happens on the brighter side. You'll find a fresh perspective on meetings in every direction, with unique venues, unforgettable views, and a natural setting designed for success. Imagine what your group can accomplish under bright blue skies and the warm embrace of the sun. I want to go where the sun shines. In Greater Fort Lauderdale, business just shines. Plan your business event at meetsunny.org. Respondents to this year's salary survey represent all corners of the meetings and events industry. They sure do, from coordinators all the way up to the C-suite. The average respondent is 43 years old with 10 years of experience and a college degree. They often work more than 45 hours a week and have received an average pay increase of 6.4% in the last 12 months. Now, it's no secret in our industry that workload levels can be really high. That's right, and here's evidence of that. In CareerCast.com's 2017 Most Stressful Jobs list, event coordinators came in at number five, just behind police officers, which is really telling. It is, but you know, there are a lot of game time decisions to be made. However, that fast-paced lifestyle can provide significant yields in terms of compensation and job satisfaction. 60% of respondents annually earn upwards of $70,000 a year. And satisfaction with the meetings profession stands at an impressive 87%. Of respondents that have earned a designation, 90% have earned a Certified Meeting Professional Designation, or CMP. 7% have earned the Certification in Meeting Management, and 5% have earned their Certified Association Executive Designation. These designations can have real career benefits. We found those with a CMP, on average, earn $10,000 more than their colleagues without one. That is a significant difference. We also found that education opportunities play an important role in the salary survey this year. They do. Survey results show that employers place a high value on getting their workforce to the next level. Right. Here are some numbers. 73% of respondents have employers that will pay for some form of professional development education or training. 14% said that they've experienced an increase in education and training support, and 77% said that support had remained steady. To see all the results from this year's salary survey and to check out other topics like this one, go to PCMAConvene.com. For Convene TV, produced by CNTV, I'm Carrie Fairneck. And I'm Kimberly Bottom. Thanks for watching.